We're going to be doing a giveaway in the video a little later on. Going to be giving away these three fiber optic drop cable slitters. Stay tuned to find out how to enter to win. All right. So we're looking to splice some ribbon here. As you can see, we have a perfect color code within the ribbon. We're gonna be doing a blue, orange, green, brown, slate, white, red, black, yellow, violet, rose, aqua. And when splicing ribbon, you have to keep both sides running up properly. So you're gonna have blue to blue and aqua to aqua. All fibers must connect to the exact same color. Now, if you were to splice it like this, aqua up with blue up, you're gonna have a thing called a flipped ribbon, which your counts are not going to align when splicing them. And you will only find that out once you go ahead and test the network and you see the counts. Distances do not match with the original design. All right, before you splice, you're also gonna wanna have heat shrink on there. Make sure your heat shrink is on before you splice. Slide that down, we're running blue up. Blue. You wanna put it about inch, inch and a quarter out. The exact amount to fit in there. Your heat stripper. It's a little bit long, but it'll be fine. Heat, strip, heat stripper will indicate with the heater. Once it's solid, you can go ahead and strip it. Firm grip right there. Go ahead and pull it back. Discard of the color. Still a few pieces on there. Go ahead and give it another one. Boom. You're going to want to grab your alcohol wipe. And you can go ahead and give this a nice clean wipe in which I like to give three, four wipes, three wet wipes, one dry wipe. Boom. Go ahead and grab, slide it around, make it a bit easier. Into the cleaver, a couple taps. Get yourself a nice clean cleave back around slide that into the splice machine and you can go ahead and repeat the process with your other ribbon ensuring that blue is running up and your color code stays intact into the stripper down solid light Firm grip. Not all the color can, it's okay. Give it another one. Third time's a charm, huh? There we go. And we'll get another alcohol wipe out. Give that a good couple wipes. Into the cleaver, couple taps. Make sure there's no overlapping fibers cleave. Nice clean cleave into the splice machine. As you can see, we have the fibers into the machine all lined up. Go ahead and close the lid. Now what you're looking for is for those fibers to line up correctly. The machine has noticed that the offset of the fibers, the alignment is not right and if you go ahead and check your machine it'll tell you which fiber as you can see there's a bit of crookedness with this guy so what we're going to do is clean the v-grooves out and give it another go all right when cleaning your v-grooves you're going to grab your v-groove brush and you're going to get right into the grooves with an outward motion pulling backwards working any bit of debris out of the V-grooves. Now you can go ahead and replace the fiber. Oh, a little bit. 
back into the machine. Make sure in there V grooves properly. Go ahead and close the lid up. You can get, get a good look to see if we got rid of that dust. I have my machine on, on a function to auto calculate to see if the offsets are proper. And if we're within the parameters, it'll go ahead and just splice it for me automatically. And you get your reading after your estimated losses within the fibers. I don't always judge off this because as you can see, we have a dot eight down below. Well, if we go ahead and take a peek inside here, you can actually see the welds of the glass. And you can see if there's any deformities within it. That very last fiber down there, you can see a slight, slight little bit of deformity, but for the most part, you can tell that the cores are perfectly aligned, nice and welded together. We'll have to wait on the test results, but I would give it a, a 90% that we've got ourselves a good splice. All right, so if you would like to have a chance to win one of these fiber optic drop cable slitters, go ahead and comment down in the comment section that you've liked the video and have subscribed to the channel and you will be entered into the giveaway. Let's see if we can get the channel up to a thousand subscribers. I will be picking the contest winners within the next uh, few videos here, most likely by the end of the week. Thanks to all those People who have subscribed already and liking the videos i appreciate everybody's feedback if you have any questions hit me in the comments all right so when putting ribbon away you can see clearly there's a centerpiece where we actually splice the ribbon now when you put them into your chip you're only going to ever want to push down on the sides where there's still color okay you have to try to get that a little bit more center, but only ever push it in on the sides. And you're gonna keep them all consistently running the same color up, blue up. And which you get as many as you can fit. This, this chip is fitting six ribbons, but we only have three spliced. So we have them all in there nicely. Now you can see we have to get them into this tray neatly and put away. <clears throat> all right, once they're in the chip, you can go ahead and flop them back like so. Be careful not to catch any fibers on any of these little edges or anything. Push them back, slide them under the edge. Boom, 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 like so. And you have a little set of grooves in here but you need to pop that into place. Boom. Make sure your spices are nice and snug in there. Like so, you're gonna wanna take your first feed side and slide that from splice in. And go ahead and run around the whole exterior of the tray. Like so. And some, sometimes you have a little bit shorter ribbons than others, depending on how many times it took to splice. What you can do though, is work it around a bit once it's in tray, try to get a, a neater look to it, okay? And then once you have one side in, you go ahead and do the same with the other. I'm sure your blue ribbon is going to stay up. Sometimes they like to fight, but so there you go, you slide that in like so. You're gonna to wanna to work this around the exterior as well. And you can go ahead and tuck that all in behind these little lips and these little fiber holders. Slide that in like so. Give another little tug. And there you go. That's how you put away a set of ribbon splices into a single tray.